Hi everyone and welcome to episode one of our podcast. Today we are going to be joined by um, two sick formers. We've got Divine and we've got Dorothy. Um, today we're going to be talking about mental health. So first of all girls, what do you think a mental health is? Um, to me, mental health is like the state of your well-being. So this can be negatively or positively. So maybe going through depression, anxiety, or even being excited for the day. Okay, fine. What she said. Come on, explain that a bit more. Um, but really, mental health can actually um, affect you mentally, physically, emotionally, and um, it's mental health is something that is not really been brought up a lot mm -hmm. and it's something that everyone actually goes through but just doesn't want to talk about it okay so for me especially people my age and even older uh, something about stress we go through maybe it would be exams or starting a new um, situation so for us for example we're going to uni soon mm -hmm. so that's a whole new situation new people new area new um, like thing we're talking about, new subject, everything, because this will be something that's going to impact us in the long run, mm -hmm. and it's also going to be like predicting our future as well. So the stress can be, of, you know, going into the new situation as well, mm -hmm. and also having the grades to even get to that situation as well can be something. So I know that um, before doing exams, yeah, sometimes I've been doing my work and I get tired and stressed and it just makes me irritated sometimes and then this can lead to procrastination mm -hmm. not making me want to do it anymore mm -hmm. and then that's really bad for my mental health as well because it's making me feel like oh I can't do this but mm -hmm. it's something that I need for the future that's going to help me in the long run and sometimes when you're so stressed it's hard to have like clarity of thought or mm -hmm. you know you're kind of you feel so overwhelmed that actually you know you don't know sometimes the next step and what you know it's like everything just feels too overwhelming so how do we actually cope with that um so one way is to just stop what you're doing for a little while and then breathe mm. breathing can be something that is really important just one breath in and out is all you really need sometimes to just calm down another thing can be to talk to somebody that's a really big factor it yeah, can be your definitely. friends family school people you know and um, there's a counselor in the school you can talk to them mm -hmm. or god yeah you can talk to god absolutely absolutely what about you divine if you went through points where you've been stressed and how did you overcome stress oh um i sing yeah. i i i just sing um there's certain songs that um i sing that if relates to my mood and then when i sing the song i feel relieved so um, for other people, I would say like maybe do like a hobby that you like, mm -hmm. you know, like take a break, do something that you like, like a, it could be a sport, an activity, and just enjoy it within that time, and then go back to doing what you want to do, mm -hmm. like being able to like manage your timing and just don't cramp everything at once, like just spread it out, like let loose. Yeah, I think that's that's really important. I find sometimes at times of stress is to kind of take a step back. Mm. come away from the situation mm. yeah. get clarity of thought take a step back maybe write down what it is that you need to get done and think about the how you're actually going to get it done and kind of break it down into into section what other things might stress somebody out stress um it, it actually can come from your peers mm. in school because mm -hmm. um there's a lot of in terms of like peer pressure when they pressure you to do something that you don't want to do mm. but you want to do it because you just want to like fit in yeah. kind of thing and then it causes a lot of stress because you know that those group of friends are not good for you mm. but otherwise you'll you'll feel lonely if you don't have friends anyways mm. so it's that type of stress like just mm. trying to think like what am i really like in the right path with these group of friends yeah. or 
do I need to go like a different path? That kind of yeah. thing, a lot of thinking and all yeah. that. That's true. And I guess something to really think about if a group of friends are making you feel that certain way, where you mm. feel uncomfortable or you're having like, you know, negative thoughts, are they really the right people for you? Really, you need to just think of yourself actually. Mm. And then you need to have the power and might to actually just break away from them. You can just say, oh, this is not right. Or if um, push comes to shove, just disappear. <laughs> just yeah so having good friends like what are the benefits of having good friends well they they just make your day when you have the right group of friends any small thing they do can really just help you positively like just one thing and it could really change the rest of your mood for the whole day mm. yeah i think it's really important actually how to be aware of um people that affect your moods because mm -hmm. I don't know do you ever if you ever been in that scenario where you know a friend has is just like an, has like negative vibes and they're totally like everything that they say they just want to be critical they just want to be negative about absolutely everything like yeah. they can never <laughs> see the good yeah and being with those type of people I think sometimes can really bring you down and sometimes yeah. it's about being aware maybe not shutting them down altogether because you know we've got to be good friends yeah. but maybe just limiting your time and being yeah. like you know what that I know when I'm around that person I come away with like a weight on of their negativity on my shoulders so it's maybe limiting your time that you're spending with them and I think yeah. sometimes we've got to be aware ourselves and be self-aware are we that person are we that person that actually we're draining other people because we're being totally negative it's also it's easier to not hang out with them much more than listening to all the negativity because then it makes you really agitated makes you think and confused because then you have to think about do I bottle up all this negativity or do I tell someone about it? Or even if the person is talking about someone, should I tell the person they're talking about? Because yeah, you don't you don't have that inside you, so you wanna let it out. Okay. Um, so what does it feel like then to have somebody that's a really good friend that actually makes you feel positive? What are the type of things that a good friend might do to kind of help your mental health? What kind of things like might they say to you? Just, it's, it's, are you okay? That's the biggest one. Yeah. Are you okay? The thing is, I don't really like that phrase. Mm. Are you okay? Yeah. It makes you think that sometimes, there's something wrong sometimes. When I hear that, I get that ick of hearing that phrase because you just don't want to tell them what you're What's actually wrong? feeling. Yeah. And you straight away, you just be like, yeah, I'm, I'm okay. And and like, yeah, I'm fine. <laughs> yeah, you just have to answer it like that. Yeah, yeah I'm fine. fine. But, but what I do like is when I just get random calls, and then I'm just like, you know, like, what, what is this surprise of God? And I'm like, oh no, I just want to talk. Like, yeah, like someone is really like making you feel like you're worthy of being their friend. And mm. they actually be taking the time to talk to you, like mm. catch up on things if they haven't like been able to talk with other stuff. And it's, it's a very nice feeling. Mm. Yeah, I like it when they hide, they friends to hide what they want to talk about. Like they know there's something wrong going on, but they're not going to talk about it they're going to do something else like make you laugh or just randomly talk like oh are you going to school tomorrow or do you have lessons mm. when are you going to school you know when are you leaving school that's it like not are you okay sometimes yeah mm. or oh i heard something happened you know mm. what's happening to you it's better of going what's happening the next day what's happening in the future more than what happened in the past okay. yeah yeah so looking forward rather than yeah. looking back I think a good friend will always be able to spot, you know, when you kind of go, yeah, I'm okay, and you're not really okay. Mm. A good friend will be able to be like, yeah, do you know what, I know that you're not okay. And um, I think for us, sometimes it's recognising and um, thinking about how we can help a friend when they're going through a difficult time. Mm. So yeah. being positive and mm. just being there for them and sometimes like just listening. Sometimes, yes. yeah. Listen, just letting them share rather than mm. us talk, 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 talk. Yeah. Sometimes it's just, it's so therapeutic just to, to be able to just say what you feel. Mm. Yeah.